this message and and this, this section in Second uh, Corinthians is so amazing that I want you to really see what this text says, and I want you to think about it in light of reality, in light of what what that message was just saying is that this stop, this book, it can't be just a book that we read and that's it. It has to change who we are and what we do in life. We can't just come to church because it's a great way to meet people and have friends in a community. We come here because God became flesh and died for His people. And that changes who we are and it changes what's important to us. And it changes the way we live our life. And so this book is no longer just a book where we pull out fortune cookie things that make us feel good for the week. And we go out and live the rest of the week however we want to because we did our church service already. See, being a believer in Jesus Christ, being his disciple, his follower, is something that you have all throughout the week, every single day of your life. It's not about being part of a club. And if you're here to be part of a club, you're here for the wrong reason. To be here because you like the music and it's kind of cool just to be here. And you're here for the wrong reason. We're here because of what God has done for us. Because Jesus Christ loved us so much that why were you yet sinners? He died for us. And so just the, the, the gospel is overflowing from us. And I want us to have that. I want us to see this book as, as reality. I want us to see this book as a life changer. So when we look at the things of the world, when we're told what is normal, when we're told what the world is, we don't accept it unless we first look at it through the lens of this book. Because this is God's word. This is not the word of man. 